don't be afraid of making mistakes. Um, some days are going to be a little challenging where things don't go like you plan. I'm don't be afraid because every time we 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 were one of the right we wrote lessons together and still when I would go to do the lesson with my kids I was terrified that I wouldn't know the answers. But when the kids are working through that, even if you're not quite sure what the exact answer should be, um, the kids will get it. If something didn't work, you came back the next day and tried something else. And, and you know, I even explained to the kids it was something new and, and they seemed to be excited to try something new. And when we had those days where things didn't go as planned, they just came back the next day and they were willing to listen and try something different. So. It takes a couple weeks. Uh, the first couple weeks of this class I devote exclusively to problem solving where I give them problems that they work on together. It's cooperative learning to solve problems that they've not seen. And one of the things that I have gotten responses from students is that you're not teaching us. Well, I am teaching them. I'm teaching them how to persevere through problems, how to communicate, uh, and they have to learn that. It takes a, it takes a couple weeks. It varied, but it it really, I think, um, I started to notice a difference with all of them probably in late November or December. It seemed like it took that long before they really started to understand that, okay, let's just try some things and, and things aren't always going to work right away, um, but let's do some thinking and, and let's make sure we can explain what we're doing. I think the biggest challenge is with students is that I teach it differently than they have used to. Students are used to being lectured to and then they are tested and then they're lectured on and tested and I'm, this is a discovery based course where students are engaging in the learning by investigation, by looking for patterns, by talking with each other. It's not a teacher led, it's a student led course. We like go over it in class or like even working with our partners is like it starts to make sense over time. Like in here like when we first came to this class like most of the work we were getting I didn't understand and like we were working in groups and stuff but I wouldn't really like contribute or I just wouldn't understand so I just like follow what other people were saying but now it's like with working together and stuff I just kind of like put like an effort, I guess. I don't really know how to explain it, but it definitely helps like you analyze or understand, like try to like break down your, the questions and stuff. When they ask us a question, we have to answer it with a question. We can't give them the answer. And so it's made me really think about how kids in geometry will learn geometry better if instead of just telling them, I have them discover. They asked a question, they wanted me to give them an answer and they got very frustrated. Um, if I just ans uh, um, answered a question within a question. Um, by the end of the year, this student uh, not only just um, mathematically is stronger, but when I ask for volunteers to, to read or to put things on the board or to show their work, they're the first one to volunteer. You know, I've always tried to ask more questions than give answers in the classroom. Anyways, even in my regular classrooms. But this has really kind of helped me look at different ways of posing problems and and getting lessons started just in the regular classroom as well as and trying to get the kids to think more and find the solutions. I feel like it's made me better at knowing what the kids need to know. Um, for example, when I'm teaching a, a lesson, I know what skills I want them to know. But this class has really helped me be able to tell right away what they're weak in and what they're strong in. So what do we need to reinforce or what can we move on through? The, the one thing I think I need to change, I'm going to change, is to engage students in more writing because I want them to use writing uh, so that I can see their ideas in writing as well as let them present their ideas to students. And I just kept pushing them to write more and explain more and, and, and give more depth in their explanations and their thoughts. I tried to make that as much their work as showing the mathematics. I think if the administrators look at it, they'll see that it's indeed rigorous and college ready for students. I mean, it was, it was so amazing to see what the kids can do. Um, I did not expect my kids to be um, mathematically advanced as they are, especially when we saw their test scores at the beginning of the year. 
Um, my kids, um, they took the ACT just in October and we're only in this class for two months and all of their scores went up one, two or even three points in math.